Hello, I'm Maddie Harvey of Maddie Harvey Designs. This is a video tutorial for the Shawl Saturday series um, summer shawl pattern, which has this lattice edging. Um, and this is a video tutorial to show you how to do the edging. So I've already done this side. I'm going to turn the wrap around and do the other side. I'm going to cut pieces of yarn to attach to each edge and to the bottom of each of these slip stitch columns here. Each piece of fringing that I'm going to attach will be 60 centimeters, and you need six of them for each uh, one that you're going to attach. So when you have your six strands, fold them in half and then using a crochet hook poke the hook through the edging and then pull the fringing through and then thread the ends through that loop and pull it gently so you want to do that uh, for each of these pieces so you should end up with two three four five six seven ten ten pieces of fringing so now you've got all your tassels attached you're going to put a pin through the top of each one and then you want to take something that you can put up against those pins so this is a a measuring stick that came with my blocking pins or you could cut out a long piece of cardboard or use a smaller ruler just something that you can that will give you a sort of straight edge and just make sure place it up against the pins and then make sure that all these tassels are um, straight and then you want to place another pin roughly halfway between the two tassels up against the, the measuring stick or piece of cardboard and then you're going to take half split the tassels in half and take half from one and half from the other and tie them in a knot going around the pin so that the knot forms around the bottom of the pin and this helps to keep them all even um, and then do the same just working your way along take half of each tassel and tie them together around the pin so just do it loosely and then gradually tighten it up and this will help to keep them nice and evenly spaced so do that all the way along for all of the tassels Okay, so now I've got them all tied. The very edge ones are just left loose, um, they, so they don't have a knot at them, but all the other ones are tied with their next door neighbour. Then I'm going to lift up the measuring stick and I'm going to place it up against that last lot of knots and I'm just going to repeat the process. So I'm going to put a pin in... Um, in between again and this time I'm going to put one right at the edge because I'm going to tie here and here to the edge so do do the edge one this time and then put one in between each of the others and then just repeat that process again of tying them so you want to split the edge ones you just keep as they are the other ones you need to split them in half and tie half and half around the pin and just work your way along doing that so now I've been along and knotted the second lot to finish it off so when I lift off the measuring 
stick you can see I've got these diamonds triangle shapes and all I need to do now is just trim the fringing to make them all even and also to make sure that they match up with the other side. Thank you for watching, uh, you can find all my patterns on Ravelry.com.